Retrieval practice is a powerful learning strategy and in this video I'll be showing you how to make flashcards and how to use them for retrieval practice. Start by getting out your flashcards. You can get ready-made flashcards or you can cut up some card to make your own. You should focus on reviewing knowledge that's less secure. Use your knowledge organiser to identify information that you need to learn. Turn a fact into a question. For example, what is the function of the cell wall? Write the question onto the front of your flashcard. Once you've written the question on the front, write the answer onto the back. You can use question stems to help you to write good questions. Questions often start with what, how or why. Examples of question stems are listed here. For example, you could ask, what is the definition of? What are examples of? Why does something happen or how does something happen? You could consider the causes or consequences. You could ask what would happen if, how this relates to other ideas, and what the advantages and disadvantages are. Here are some examples of question answer flashcards from other subjects. It's helpful to include examples to illustrate particular ideas. Use your flashcards for self-quizzing. Start by reading the question on the front of the flashcard. Take your time to generate an answer. Don't assume you know it. Either say the answer out loud, say it in your head, or write it down on a piece of paper. Try to go beyond just definitions and think about links between ideas or give examples. When you've generated an answer, turn the flashcard over to check whether your answer was complete and correct. You can see in this example that we've got both a definition of diffusion but also some examples of where diffusion takes place and beginning to consider how it's similar to other transport processes. If you didn't know the answer, put it on a separate pile. When you've finished, put the ones on your don't know pile on the top. This means they'll be the first ones you test yourself on next time you use your flashcards. Avoid dropping flashcards from your pack completely. Even if you know the answer, it's important to keep testing yourself on it over time so that it's not forgotten. Plan a specific time for when you'll next test yourself on your flashcards. Keep your flashcards somewhere convenient so that you can use them regularly for retrieval practice. 